This is the future. Hey guys, it's Matt here. Today we're taking a look at something that's inside all of your wallets. It's a debit and credit card with a fingerprint scanner built into the front. This is made by NatWest and RBS. It's a new test trial to try and find out problems with the card that it could potentially have so that they can perfect it for their customers. So this is a bank in the UK. Chip and pin came out in 2006. Everything's been pretty secure since then, but now it's time for the next level, the next stage of security. It's faster and more secure with the fingerprint scanner. It has the ability to use the old fashioned chip and pin. It has contactless built in as well. So you can use the fingerprint scanner to register payments over 30 pound limit. My only issue with this card is the fact that the bank don't require the fingerprint on payments under 30 pound, which is most of the payments that people make. Why not make use of the security that you've put into the front of the card? I'm going to be holding my card like that anyway when I tap it, they do realize, right? So when I tap it, I expect it to use all of the security measures in order to make that transaction the most secure that it's going to be. By removing the fingerprint or even the option to use it with payments under £30, the bank are taking away security from the public, which is just the opposite of what they're trying to do. That's their whole mission is to be more secure. So I think the fact that they did that alone takes away a little bit from this card and obviously makes it a little bit less secure. In terms of the size of the card, it's the same dimensions, the same weight, pretty much just feels like a regular card and they've just packed that fingerprint scanner in there somehow. It's actually quite amazing, but it's actually a really, really nice idea. I really do like the concept and I've actually really had a good experience when using it out and about. Okay guys, this is just filmed on my phone really quick, but basically we're gonna go out and test it in a few different places. So I was planning on going to McDonald's, KFC, and Asda, which is just a supermarket in the UK. So um, I already know for a fact that it works in Tesco. I've already tried it there, but let's just go and test it and see how we do. Select payment type. No? No. So we are back and as you can see, I kind of hoped it would work a bit better. So it is just due to outdated system, but in McDonald's it declined. KFC declined. I also tried it in Chopsticks, which is like a Chinese fast food, declined. So only places that worked for me were supermarkets, um, just big supermarket chains, not too sure about like corner shops and things like that, but definitely big supermarkets it works. I'm going to be informing RBS and Nat West about it. Hopefully there will be a fix pretty soon. Um, it's still not that disappointing. I mean, you can still use the old way of paying. Um, but I just wanted to try out the new fingerprint scanner. So yeah, it's just come out. There's probably not that much support for it right now. Hopefully there will be a little bit more support coming up soon. So back to the video. But the way it basically works is when you put your card in the reader, power flows through the chip into the card in order to read it. And then instead of actually confirming the pin from the terminal inside with the card, it actually confirms the fingerprint to the stored fingerprint inside the card. So it just matches it up and then sends a signal to the terminal rather than using the terminal for the security. So in a sense, it's actually more secure because you're not entering anything into the terminal, which could potentially be breached. And in order to set it up, all you do is you simply connect this battery pack that comes with it, puts power through the chip. You simply place your finger five times on the card here, and then that registers your fingerprint onto the card. You go into a store and then use it, put your fingerprint on and enter your pin and that locks the fingerprint to the card so you can't overwrite it with another fingerprint. Once that's done, you can use it pretty much anywhere. There is some problems and some places aren't accepting it and stuff like that right now, but that's purely due to outdated software. 
But the way this works is really clever. So if you don't enter your PIN and you have your fingerprint on the scanner, the card tells the terminal there is no PIN. And then it sends a signal to the bank. Obviously, it's already registered your fingerprint and confirmed it with the one stored in the card. Sends a signal to the bank and then at the bank, that confirms it and sends the signal back to make the transaction. So it's all really cleverly done in the card and sending the signal. And I mean, it's really, really fast. It works almost instantly. Now, as you all know, a fingerprint scanner statistically is more secure than a four digit pin. Apple even proved this at one of their events when they released their fingerprint scanner back in the iPhone 5S. Is this a must have? I mean, realistically, this is a black card, so not everyone's gonna be able to get it. When it does come out, you will have to earn over a hundred thousand pound a year in order to qualify for one of these black cards. That's NatWest's policy. So they want you to be putting a lot of money into it and making a lot of use out of this card. And that's exactly what they've done. They did send me a cookie as well as a badge and some information documents on this card. And they also sent me the reader as well, which I'm gonna demonstrate. But I really do like the concept of this. I think it's really, really clever. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, but I definitely think this is the future of security in terms of like your cards. Fingerprint seems the most obvious. I honestly, as a tech head, as like someone who's really crazy into tech, this is pretty cool. This is really, really cool. I mean, it's basically like when you pay with Apple Pay and you use your fingerprint, but it's on your freaking card. Next level. Obviously, this doesn't work at cash machines. You're gonna have to put it in and to your pin. So don't forget that. And currently to this point, there's no way I've heard of rewriting the fingerprint. So make sure you get it right first time. But as I said, this is a test stage. So they will be doing a bunch of things in the future to make it more geared towards the public, to make it easier to set up and overall just make it more user friendly. But let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know your concerns. Let me know your ideas. Maybe you could potentially have multiple fingerprints on this card, or maybe you could have gesture enabled things which might require power. Um, but let me know down below. I would be really interested for you guys to hit me up and let me know what you think about this. Definitely can recommend some ideas back to NatWest and RBS in order for them to make an even better card for the public.